people are very afraid to step into certain areas. And so like gender dysphoria is one of the ones that many academics have been, um, have, you know, potentially lost their careers over questioning the objectives of the new world order, which is all depopulation to get people stop breeding. So they have been programming people and they've been using academic institutions to uh, use cultural Marxism to program people into, you know, fighting for the rights of the smallest minority over the majority in any way, shape or form. So your academic institutions are the first ones that were overtaken and it's well known. So what it's you're saying is, is, let me see if I understand you correctly. We should okay. take a theory that is well established that works with all of the gathered evidence has never been able to be falsified and explains how people learn and has been used successfully to create propagandistic films, we should take that and bin it because social Marxism and the trans agenda. Oh, that's a straw man. You're you're using straw man now. You're saying, oh, well, you said this. No, I'm saying this is genuinely what I took away. I don't mean to straw man you. Anybody watching the replay can rewind and re-listen. I do not intend to straw man you. That's literally what I heard you say. Tell him where he's wrong, Jeff. Say it again. If 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 you're accusing him of a straw man, we need to know what the straw man actually is. So can you give a detail on that? Well, he just said that because because of what I said about uh, them uh, using gender sort of studies and, you know, uh, silencing people. That that is a, 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 a that was an excuse that all of your academia is controlled and everything is is controlled by this uh, central Since power. Since that was my question, that was how you answered it. I just gave an example of, of social learning. I, I gave an example of how academia is is controlled. It's absolutely controlled. Except and yes, it's absolutely controlled. I already mentioned it. The SoCal okay, experiment, fine. which revealed the inherent problems in the gender studies and associated uh, branches of research. And in fact, there's, what are they calling it? SoCal Mark II or SoCal, uh, this most recent one where something like seven different studies got published in a variety of journals and they were all horseshit and revealed and proven to be horseshit. Nobody's getting fired. Nobody's losing their job. Instead, they're reevaluating the standards by which these journals publish. Mm -hmm. They're examining whether or not they fucked up. They're doing the exact opposite of what you're saying. Well, I was I was not giving that particular example. I was talking about other people who have studied. But either uh, your statements involved. are generally true Hold and applicable, on, or they're special cases. Guys, we got to let each other finish. I know it's a passionate, it's a passionate topic, but we have to <laughs> at least be we have to at least be fair. Let him get his thought out, and then we'll give you the time to uh, respond. So, Jeff, go ahead. Yeah. So, I, I mean, like, you're just trying to say, basically, uh, academia has never proven that predictive programming is a thing, and therefore nobody should take it seriously because no peer-reviewed journals have been published uh, to uh, uh, uncover uh, predictive programming, right? Isn't that what you're saying? Mm, no. I'm actually saying that predictive programming, as you've described it, conflicts with social learning theory which lays out a specific process by which people are programmed by media and which your predictive, uh, your, your predictive programming synopsis contravenes by suggesting that they just need these random symbols here and there that flash up on the screen or that you can take a series of movies that just happen to have explosions in the World Trade Center And because they see this often enough, they get used to it. That's directly contradicted by social learning theory, which says that if you want to program somebody like that, you actually have to show people doubting, people learning, and people coming to embrace what you want them to be programmed with. If you show show kids people smoking all the time, kids are going to smoke. If you show young boys homosexual all the time... Only if you show people smoking all the time... Only if you show people smoking all the time in a setting and a context which encourages smoking and says it's a good and positive thing. If you show the smoking man from the X-Files smoking all the time to children, they're only going to associate it with evil government conspiracies and not with that's cool, I should do that. 
you have to establish the context first. Random images do nothing unless we're already biologically predisposed to react to them, such as images of a naked human. If you have something like that, if you flash a random, subliminal message about a naked images, woman, that yeah, that'll work. We're not talking about we're not talking about random images. We're talking about a a massive sort of organization that are controlling all your media and are putting these predictive programming elements into your entertainment in order to program you into their new world order. So but my point is, is uh, that your programming, your predictive programming theory fails basic scientific testing. It's, it violates social learning theory. I don't think we're going to... doesn't, um, doesn't uh, fail for, common for, sense, hold on that's one second, for sure. And, yeah, hold on one second. I, I, what, I, what I think is happening is we're, we're not going to get on a the same page on this particular aspect of um, the discussion, but just so that we can kind of steer it back to um, the, the subject that we're here on, let's get back into the um, earlier. I asked about the, the, when the towers fell, if it was controlled or not. And Jeff, you said that you believe it was actually controlled. Mm -hmm. So can you kind of tell us why that is? And then I know, um, um, well, let's, let's just start there. Why, why do you think it was a controlled demolition and not that the um, the beams melted from the heat of the uh, fires from the plane? Not melted. Thank you. I, I think we can I all agree that the beams did not melt at the temperatures that were observed. Yes, I did, I did speak there. Go ahead. Okay, so you're saying the structure collapsed because of the heat of the jet fuel and all that, right? Or more accurately, that mean? That, that's a very high level. I just want to expand on it for the audience which is that the heat of the fire, which was not just jet fuel, but all the other crap you find in a building, which a lot of it is made out of petrochemicals, so it'll burn pretty damn hot too, was sufficient to reach temperatures at which steel will lose tensile strength and expand, rendering the horizontal supports incapable and insufficient of actually supporting the weight of the concrete floors on top of them causing them to buckle and pull down, which would then pull in the support, be the vertical supports, which were just welded together in about, I think it was 30 foot sections. I could be off a little on the heights, but a weld is not that strong when you start pulling a building down on top of it. So they just start snapping, which will pull the whole building down and down and down and down. And that is more than enough to explain what happened in terms of the mechanics and the physics. How does that explain Building 7, then? Building 7 was hit by debris from the first two towers collapsing, as well as having... And that debris knocked out the firefighting systems that are built into the building. A fire started, went uncontrolled, and over in, I believe it was the east side of the building underneath of the penthouse... You had the exact same scenario happening where you have a hot fire from these petrochemical-laden materials burning out of control for hours until the beams on that side of the building. And that's why it starts at the penthouse and then collapses over because the beam under the penthouse went first as the fire caused the outermost horizontals to expand and then collapse, pulling the building down on itself, starting at the pillar underneath of the penthouse and spreading outward as you lost the support, ultimately ending with the external supports collapsing, which temporarily reached freefall, but you can kind of expect that once you've taken away all of the substance of the building inside. Are, are, you, uh, are you a demolitions expert? Are you? No. I'm sorry, if you're going to challenge me on those credentials... Turn yeah, I'm just wondering point. what you're what, – because, like, I mean, are, am I supposed to be an engineer here? Are you supposed to be a demolition expert? Because it, it seems to me like you're reading a script. And it seems to me like no, you came actually, really – No, I'm not. I'm entirely from memory. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All I have up I'm, is right now the wiki page on social learning theory, our chat, and the live stream chat. No script. The only thing I have down here – is the notes I took on the matter. I am an engineer, but I'm an electrical and nuclear engineer, not a uh, not a mechanical or structural engineer. It is true that I did oh, okay. prepare for well, this because I knew I'd be talking about the subject. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
So how do you respond to that? Yeah, so, I mean, okay, so you've got a theory, and it's the theory, it's the official theory. Is that not the official theory? Isn't that what uh, NIST and... I believe and it is close government? to the... I believe it is close to the theory that was published by the uh, National Institute for Science and Technology, as well as in multiple peer-reviewed papers, which have withstood challenge and been endorsed by multiple engineering and uh, architectural organizations as being of sound physics and sound structural engineering. So why is so it yes, that, that there that are... Is the, why is there over 3,000 architects and engineers that disagree with that? Good fucking question. You should ask them why they reject basic science. Well, no, I mean... <laughs> I mean, if that's their field and that's what they do, uh, and they're telling you that it's impossible that this could have happened that way, and how is it there's no other example of any other structural steel tower that has collapsed due to fires that has ever been proven in the history of architecture? How do you answer that? Hold on, I'm double checking because I believe there actually is another example, aside from the fact that you know, you have World Trade Center 1, World Trade Center 2, and World Trade Center 7. So that's three, not one. The specifics of each one, yes, they vary, but. Okay, so why he looked that, uh, why, why he looks that up. Um, Jeff, do you want to explain, I'm, I'm curious, do you want to explain to us what you think went down? Yeah, I, I think the buildings were rigged and, and they brought them down in timed explosions. Um, I think they had to have the theatrics happen in order to uh, obviously tell the story. It's not going to be much of a story if you say planes crashed in the tower and you don't have any images of planes crashing into the towers. So you have to have all the theatrics and you have to have it done at the most dramatic sort of uh, delivery possible in order to convince the people, the viewers at home, because that's what ultimately it's for. It's saying, we're, we're going to take away all your privacy. We're going to implement uh, a, a sort of, uh, you know, Orwellian surveillance state, and you're going to all accept this because uh, if you do not, these bad people are going to come and they're going to blow up your town. So they had to make it look as convincing as possible and, uh, yeah, I mean, it had the maximum effect. Everybody that watched it, including, I'm sure, everybody here saw it live or, you know, lived through that day and knows how traumatic it was and what uh, a real job they did. They did a hell of a job selling the whole thing. But I think is Building 7 is where the whole thing collapses, like literally, uh, because it doesn't hold together that uh, massive modern steel structure that was built to withstand. I mean, the World Trade Centers themselves were built to withstand the impact of planes. Even Donald Trump himself said that the World Trade Centers would never fall because of, of a plane crashing into them. And then uh, three days after, he, he had lie. to retract his... Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Donald three days later, Trump, he had to retract his statement. Believe me. Believe me. Did you find, did you find what you were yeah. looking for, Nate? So in addition to the partial collapse of World Trade Center 5, where they had floors, I believe it's 6 through 9, collapse due to fire alone, you also have an additional 22 cases from 1970 to 2002 where steel frame buildings were caused collapse due to fire. So it's just not true. Oh, sorry, 6. I do have to Six correct myself. Buildings. I was reading the wrong line there. Six structural steel buildings, aside from the World Trade Center buildings, have collapsed due to structural fires. All right. I don't have that uh, article that you're quoting, so I can't. Can you I link that in the, 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 the live chat and then linking it now? And and uh, let me ask a, a follow up question, Jeff. Why didn't we see any explosions when um, those were detonated? Well, that's up for debate. I think uh, a lot of the architects and engineers believe that you can see nano uh, thermite explosions happening throughout the debris as it's collapsing. And um, I guess like you would see with every, if you've watched enough controlled demolitions, they all look the same. They all look like built, they all look like building seven pretty much unless they don't go off properly. Right. So there's a, a, a method to it. And it's like the, um, the, um, I believe he was, you don't uh, use nanothermite in demolitions 
or any thermite because thermite burns too slowly to cut 